Alright, what is up guys? This is the first time I've actually actively targeted the surf in like five months or something like that. So we're going to give it the old college try. And hopefully I can catch a perch. I haven't caught a perch in the surf in a long time. So before I do, I just want to jump in here and change really quick. A company called Sportnear sent me this changing tent. I've always wanted one. I've seen other people use them before, especially if you have a little family and uh, you know, you're know you changing your kids on the beach. It gives you uh, optimal privacy with like zero setup time, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna jump in here, change, jump out, head to the beach, hopefully catch some fish. I had a nibble back there, but that's it. Yeah, there's a ton of fish over here. These guys are pulling one every cast. They're all small though. Okay. Gigantic leader. <clears throat> Crazy how this fog kind of came in out of nowhere, huh? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Top water. Hey, I think this is like my third cast with my 80-foot leader. Go, buddy. What are you talking about? Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. First fish in like five months. Hell yeah. Woo. Dude, that's a pig. That's a keeper right there. Dude, that was like, did you see it? Like jump out of the water practically? Woo. Hell yeah. First red tail in quite some time. First first outing in like, I don't know how long. Right there on the eight foot leader. Went big, got a decent one. And man, dude, this is a good one. Hell yeah. That's gotta be a 10 and a half all day right there. Let's measure it real quick. All right, in California. I think we all know the rules, gotta be tip to tip. Minimum 10 and a half, look at that, 12 inch red tail. First fish, this might be my first fish in 2019, at least my first surf perch in about five months, so what a way to, what a way to come back. Spent all morning kind of going up and down the coast, waiting for something to bite. Got a couple nibbles, lost some stuff. Man, change it up to the long leader, great idea. <laughs> I never thought a leader longer, almost as long as my rod could actually be productive and something I could control in the water, but proof is in the pudding right there, baby. Heck yeah. My favorite eating perch right here. California red tail. Hell yeah. Beautiful fish. Just about as pretty as, red, as these uh, surf perch get. We'll take it. <laughs> Jernell knows what he's talking about. Heck yeah. All right, boys and girls, if you haven't been able to tell, Catherine and I have stumbled upon a perfect hole right in front of us. You can see that break in the distance about 50 yards ahead of us. And it absolutely kind of dies and the water goes really still. And I'm wearing polarized lenses and the water is in front of me. Uh, the first 15 to 20 yards of water is very dark. Some of the darkest water and stillest water on this entire beach. So for a beach, this water is very still. So if I was a fish, I would hang out in the deepest, calmest water, just waiting for the waves to pull in uh, food from the food from the uh, water. Look at that. Boom. As I'm talking, got another one. There's, so there's definitely a school sitting here. As we learned from the perch whisperer, fish are very efficient and opportunistic. So why would they, why would they expend energy to to fight the water in shallow rough current when they can find deeper troughs to 
sit and wait for food. So, you know what? No, uh, there's no size limit on these bards. And uh, my kids have been asking me for, for fish, so we're gonna keep these two. A little on the smaller side, we got that nice 12 inch red tail earlier. Um, we're gonna keep fishing and uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep if there's meat on these guys I'm definitely gonna consider keeping them because Man, it's been five months since I've had a, a Bard on the plate and uh, I've had a I've had a taste for it for a while. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna load up what plays I can today Fish on, good one. <clears throat> oh, fish on. Fish on all day, baby. Let's, let's see what she got, what she got. <laughs> nice. Nice, good job. Oh. I had a good one. It was a good. It was heavier than the first one. Damn it! Darn it! Come back! All right, guys. I just missed a good size one. The the bite was literally right there. Maybe like man, 25 feet from my feet. So what I'm gonna do is straighten out this worm because they tend to bite a lot better if the worm is uh, presented nice and straight, not all turned around and twisted. So we're gonna straighten out this worm. Literally cast it only 20 feet in front of me and uh, see if we can actually keep one on the hook this time because if there's one there's more oh. right <laughs> yeah hey, it would be worth it though if you had a bunch of crab coming up but it would be it would be a little dicey though carrying that weight back because those pots get pretty heavy when they when they're on deck. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, when that pot came up, the one with that big ass red rock crab, I was like, holy. Because like, I, I had dropped pots before, but I had never seen that many in a pot. And I mean, I've seen videos of guys like catching over the limit in just one pot, like at the beginning of the season. But for me, I was like, oh my God. All right, little guy. I've got my share of little ones, so we're gonna get back and let that let that little guy go. We're looking for big ones now. How much fun is that to Yeah. Oh, this is a good, this is a better one. I'm prescribing to the, uh, to the technique of reeling into the fish and not like fucking swinging a home run, feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know. This guy is so hungry. They're so hungry right now. This thing is down his throat. So I'm gonna have to pop the hook with the with the hook remover. All right, well, this guy's bleeding out. Unfortunately, gut hooked him. So, he's coming home with me. Another one for the table. Gut hooked that guy, so there's no chance to, to, to let him go. All right, well, we've come to the near end of the video where my day is just about wrapped up here, so yeah. Great to get out. Haven't been out in about five months. Can you imagine having a YouTube channel where surf fishing is kind of like the thing to do in my area and not fishing for five months? But I'm so happy that I'm back out here, able to put some fish on, especially that nice 12 or 13 inch red tail. Should taste really good later today. And uh, I caught probably equivalent of, I don't know, maybe 10 total, something like that. Kept five, released some of the smaller ones. Um, just enough to uh, keep me and my kids happy. There's nothing like a good fried surf perch uh, with steamed rice and some apple juice, aka <coughs> beer, right? So, oh, eight to nine foot liters. Man, totally worked out for me. I didn't think uh, a liter this long 
this presentation would work, but thankfully Catherine said, hey, give it a shot. My two, three, four foot leaders weren't working. As soon as I switched it up to this eight, eight and a half foot one, I started getting bites and I put basically all the fish that I caught today on this setup. So man, it's good to uh, mix it up. And there's always something new to learn when you go fishing. I think that's why I love it so much. So let's see if uh, I can close the show with one more fish. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, get out there and fish.